Hey, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we've got a unique situation going on. I want to, I want you guys to check this out. We're in a house, actually, we're in a greenhouse, and we're here to check out their indoor pond that's inside the greenhouse. Come along with me, and we'll. Now, the greenhouse that we're about to show you isn't one that we built; it's one that we were called on. Here's a couple examples of ones that we have built inside. This is a ponds for kids in Sterling Heights. And this one is an indoor pond in a greenhouse in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. We just wanted to show you an indoor pond that just happened to be inside a greenhouse. Whoa, I can hear some water. Wow, look at this. This is pretty awesome. He's got a he's got a plant table here so you can do some plantings. It's about 50 degrees in here right now. It's really nice. I mean, it's 18 degrees outside. But look at these walls. Aren't these these are pretty amazing. See the condensation on the inside? Oh, here's Steve. Steve, how's it going? Good, sir. How about you? Oh, doing well. Wow. So you too could create so what do we got going on here? This is pretty neat. We Indoor have, waterfall and a pond. So waterfall, you got pond, you got water lilies, uh, various tropical and tropical plants, you got uh, tropical plants, you got all sorts of different continents here. Um, no rock climbing opportunities here. But we do have a small army of frogs and salamanders that like the place. They give up their, uh, their hands up of approval. Look at that, there's a little frog. I bet you there's probably about a thousand eyes looking at us right now. But I don't know if you can see them, but there's a frog right down in there if I can hold my camera steady enough. So it, it's warm, they're out. They're looking around, but yep. check out this indoor waterfall. Isn't that awesome? It's got a staircase in amongst all of his tropical plants that lead up to the top of a waterfall up on top here. I mean, to have this at your own home, this is a dream. I'm probably standing, what, 12 feet above you right now? You are. You have a capper view. Look at what's, what is this large palm here? What's that called? Winstonia, China. Probably the hardiest large palms in the world. So it's actually hard to down about negative 10. Ne negative 10? Wow. So as long as the temperature is about 40, it's dry. So wh what happens when that wants to go through the roof? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and right, right, right. we're going to bust through this roof. We have so to negotiate. You have to trim this back. Yep. So um, this, is, this is really neat. He's got a hot tub over here. But look at all the duckweed that's up on top. This is actually cleansing his water as it goes over the, the weir here, down into a middle pond and down into the lower pond. He's, he said one of the biggest one of the biggest challenges in here is not heating it; it's cooling it. Because in the summer, it, this can get up to 110 degrees in here. Great for tropical plants, not so great for people. In about a week, the highs are going to be in the upper 40s and sunny. And the temperatures inside here will be in the mid to upper 70s. Wow. And it'll be hot. You, need, you literally will need t-shirts, etc. And the frogs will be active. They'll be flying. Oh, boy. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? The frogs got to eat, too. Oh, no. This is like 100% uh, ecosystem supported, you know. So, and in case humans need to eat, we've got a thousand things from that tree. So this tree right here... Steve just said that he gets over a thousand figs off of that tree per season. Some lemon trees. Mm -hmm. Any lime? Uh, that's a lime. That one is like So there's a lime tree there. So you, you've you got a working farm in here. Evan Dish Dwarf banana. Some banana. Got some banana. Some hydrangea. Mm -hmm. You guys all know what this is. Some elephant ear. Elephant ear. Good. This is a coffee here. But it's a little trickier to get that to thrive because of it's 
the exacting requirements to be dry or wet or hot or cold. I mean, it can take 130 degrees, but unfortunately, the private soil probably gets a little too moist for it. You know, so. so you can grind your own coffee out of here. You could. This is a little a little piece of Columbia right here. Columbia, see, and then tropical gardenia. And I planted stuff. Oh, well, this is lemongrass, by the way. So. Yeah, so you got some lemongrass. Oh, food, man. You can make Thai stew, Thai food of all sorts. And uh, it's best fresh. You know, there's no doubt about it. Getting the store-bought stuff, forget about it. You know? So right now it's dormant because of the season. So yeah. that'll get cut down. New new sprouts will come up. Right, the whole thing. It'll as soon be like as it warms up off. here a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, planting for food ornament, but also for smell. So you get tropical daffodils that flower in the middle of the winter time, and just one or two of these flowers, when the sun comes out and it's 70 degrees, the whole entire greenhouse will smell like perfume. So. And there's like a climbing uh, jasmine behind that. Oh, well, that's got to smell great in there. And there's a rangoon creeper there. And olives, blue flower, but then there's uh, orchids there. That's Do you have there. black olives? Yep. Uh, it, not yet, but it takes about 10 years for those things to really big and mature. So, uh, okay. But these are self pollinating olives, too. So. I don't think my, my daughter would ever move out if we had a black olive <laughs> tree. And I mean, you have, to, you have to prepare them. You can. I don't think you can just eat them off the tree. You have to steal them and stuff like that. But, but they're delicious. I mean, Let them Yeah, you got to them. So, like that, it's actually a giant sequoia. And it's dwarf. So, I mean, any bigger than that? This one right over here? Oh, that other thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We planted one at our house, mm -hmm. and it was about the size of our finger. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's a good 18 to 24 inches in diameter the trunk and it's Bonsai. only no it's only um nine years old it it wouldn't fit in here it's that it's tall, that tall now? it's that tall now you can grow it's not a dwarf it's a real, real oh it's a real dawn redwood mm -hmm. oh this one was like the toy one with like the top one um, but yours is a dwarf variety. It is a dwarf variety. Yeah. And so that tree is already 20, 25 years old, but it won't grow much bigger than that. So right. Tree, but it will outlive all of it. So we just wanted to show you a little ecosystem inside a greenhouse because not everybody gets to see them okay. that often. These are a rare find for you, but they're, they're a big rare find for me as well. I would love to come back here when this um, when this is all in bloom. Maybe what would be a good month? Probably April, April, month, May. Month and a half. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, and we're just you know outside. We're still cleaning up our mess from the winter time. Oh no, this place is rocking. This, this, you just heard it. Steve said this place is rocking. <laughs>